Hope you're doing well. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. So lots to catch you up on and to show you here. We had Keeping Fish Simple stop by. Also new lights. We got the pumps running. We do some outdoor fishing and a few other things. But in the meantime here, I've got this lube on and I've got it already marked out for these tanks right here. So that's gonna be the first piece to go up to cover that wall. I kind of like it open, but at the same time, I've always wanted tanks in the wall. Now, if I find that I don't like it, I could always remove it, but I think I'm gonna like it. We'll have a kind of a hidden space. And I did also get in 24 new lights here. So hopefully I can get it completely finished with lights up underneath these and all the way up there and finally get them on that. That'll be awesome. That's gonna be a my Anubius growing space and lots of space for taller plants here. Can't, we need to fill that in. Same with all this and even up on the ceiling. Same, same, same. Same, same, same. Adds up. There's probably well over 50 lights in here. Easily. Easily. Alright, so I got my tools out here getting ready to cut that. Got my boards. I was gonna keep the wind from blowing her away because that luon's really light. But in the middle of process of getting ready for that, I started thinking about this tank here. I started thinking about this the noise was one of these rope fish went crazy over here he was down on the side but he done slipped away you can see how they just slip on through all this stuff it's wild anyway i was thinking about this tank and having to redo it because of the fish in it and then how i take care of certain fish and anyways i was thinking about this and i'm like if i cover this i'm not going to be able to see this top part when i walk in I'm not going to see that open part. It would all just be closed and you'd have to look down and into it, which would be cool. But I think I like the functionality of it being open on both sides. Same with just having to clean up things. I think I'm going to leave it open. I think I'm just not going to do that now. Which saves me a ton of work, but I do think I'm going to close that off up there. And I could always put stuff on around this and still kind of trim it up and try to make it look nice. I know a lot of people wanted to keep that loft look. Most of you guys all did want to keep that loft look. But I could always get on a ladder. I could get a view from that at any time. And I'm still going to get in the loft from that way. So I'll still be able to get a view. But yeah, I want to close this off. That way it just looks finished, you know. Or maybe just finish the sides. Shoot. I don't know, but either way, I don't have to do this now. I'm going to leave that open. Because the functionality is going to serve over the form. Even with just having that aired out and being able to breathe instead of holding moisture back there. Even better. You want it to vent. I mean, with all these fish tanks. <sighs> so I guess I'm going to take this back to the store. But you know what? I was so gung-ho about getting that done. But sometimes, you know, you just gotta, you still gotta roll with it, no matter what. Like, if I would have second-guessed it, put it up there, and then been like, oh, I wish I didn't, you know? So I'm glad I didn't. All right, now that I decided against filling in this wall, I still gotta think about what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm not gonna rush this. I'm gonna let it come to me. I've already spent this much time on building everything. There's no point to rush this. So, saying that, let's go catch some outdoor fish. So it's been decent out here, 70s the last couple days. I still haven't picked up that stick just cause, man, it's a reminder of how close I really came. Look at that. Woof. But anyways, I've got these rice fish here and I need to get them moved because hopefully they got eggs in here and we'll have some babies soon. And I've got a real good spot I want to put these guys. You guys will see here. Let me catch them real quick. It is interesting seeing the Anubias growing in there. 
being it does get in the 30s here and there but the nubius is doing well good to see you outside and as far as grabbing these I just grabbed the water from out of here. That way it's the same temperature. The water is pretty chilly. The third fish hid from me. As far as the temperature on this, that's way too low to even read. Maybe I'll get up in storage and get a glass thermometer out and we'll see how cold it really is. Ah, I caught the third one here. So there's supposed to be like more red, orange, but definitely a dark orange and red either way good lookers so out here down yonder i've got this dirty fire pit here and i've also got me a little pond built because you know i'm gonna have some water near a fire pit safety first but it's been maturing real good in here got some local foliage i have no clue what it is it's kind of like a hydrocotyl but a real thick stem to it really neat super perky in here there is tons of mosquito larvae in here and live food for these guys to hopefully community breed and have lots of babies in here oh yeah tons of food free willy hey babies Boy. I'm living large now. It'll take them a while to get comfortable. To know that they don't have predators within their area. You know these guys, they're not shy. They like to move around. Now I need lots more of these in the future. <laughs> lots of land to do it. I mean a lot. Oh, they're already hunting. Look at that one chasing the mosquito larvae. Oh, they're gonna get fat in there. So this whole shrimp rack's gonna get its first water change in ever. Woohoo! And you see it is noisy with the pump on, but I'm getting the first water change in here with my shrimp. I've got caradinas. And also neocaridinas. Now that it's all siphoned through, there's water in the lines. I could do it without the pump, but I could do it a lot quicker with the pump. So I'm gonna speed run this one. All right, now those are empty. Time to fill them up. I gotta get used to hearing that sound. There it goes. Them up. And the reason why I have it like this is that way I can shut off these valves and then I don't always have pressure in the tank. Because if one of these were to leak while I was gone, that could be really catastrophic. So to safety net all that, with these shut off, I don't have to worry about pressure in the line. So I don't ever have to worry about any of those valves failing at a bad time. Just like that. Shrimp section is fully just about done. Ooh, this is so exciting. Oh my God, I love this so much. I can just change the water so easy. We went from no water changes to the ability to change the water at any time of our leisure or pleasure. How nice. How very nice. Very good, very nice. All right, filling up the rainbow rack. Shrimp rack's done. Took about, I would say, three hours, some breaks. Between the two, which is close to 100 tanks. All right, time to get all these lights up. Really cool kind of chill hangout spot. Getting the last bit of lights up here on the top of the racks. Look at all that space for plants. Even on the one underneath. It's pretty wild being up on top of these racks. All right, finally did it. Got all the lights, all the lights everywhere in the fish room done everywhere. 
Oh wait, this lines that spot. Dang it, I need extension cords. I forgot about those. There was so much going on. Keeping Fish Simple was just here. Did a tour on this whole place. So check out his channel. He'll be doing a tour. We also did a live together, you guys may have saw. But if you look up here as well, we've got a bunch of new plants in the fish room too. Those who watch my Friday night live stream have seen me doing them in the plant room. And I'm absolutely loving it. Um, as they grow, we'll kind of move them around, probably color coordinate certain things and just, oh, it's cool. I love how some are vining down. There's lots of variations of things. Plant lady, Sarah, she's been doing a wonderful job. Just, I love how the hallways are gonna fill in with the plants. You can check out her channel. She's got a YouTube channel as well. Brazilian Pennywort trying to do its job. And as you guys know me, I'm always getting plants to grow out of the aquariums as well. It's kind of harder to do when you get when you get low humidity, but these plants will add a very nice touch. And we even got some more over here, so check them out. Looking pretty sweet. I'm loving these begonias here. Look at those. Aren't those neat? And you will find her plants every once in a while for sale. Well, pretty much all the time for sale anymore on the website, otherbeaquatics.com. Boom. I know there was a lot going on in this video, but needed to catch you guys up. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. It's very hard to scale the fish breeding business. Like, the second I started having employees, it became so much harder because you just, it's just one of those things that's not, like you can't turn it into a little mini McDonald's. Like people will stuff up one thing and 